Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and we're here back in Paris and today what we have for you are a few things that actually are overrated about visiting Paris. And I know a lot of people might put Paris itself as being overrated. Well, we do not feel that way. We love Paris, that's why we come here so often and we love it. But we are honest travel people and we do have to be honest with you about some of the things that are a bit overrated. I think the first thing I like to mention is the overrated nature of the Mona Lisa experience. I know Caleb, our oldest son, the first time we went to the Mona Lisa, after we fought through the crowds of people and tried to get him through so we could actually see the painting, we lifted him up and he's like, that's all it is? Because it actually is relatively small. And when you have all those tourists around there fighting to get through there and stuff like that, it really kind of takes away from it. So it can be kind of a letdown or an overrated experience. Now, it's a fantastic painting. It's a wonderful thing to see, but it is kind of a little bit of a letdown for some travelers. So have a heads up for that. So what I recommend you do is if you're getting a little like overwhelmed by all the tourists and all the people in front of there trying to get a picture of the Mona Lisa, turn around take a view of the marriage of Cana, the huge painting behind there. That's actually better. Caleb, he goes there to see that, not to see the Mona Lisa. And when you go through the Louvre, go and explore more. Don't just see Wing Victory, Mona Lisa, and Venus de Milo. There's a lot more to see when you are there, okay? The second thing that's overrated about coming to Paris is going up the Eiffel Tower. Now, I've done it a number of times, and it is a beautiful view. I will give it that. But again, it's that whole experience of going up the Eiffel Tower, going through the security checks, waiting in the lines and all those kind of things, going up, smushed together in the elevators. I mean, it's a claustrophobic nightmare for some people if you're a little claustrophobic or you don't like heights, so it can be a bit much, and it can be a bit overwhelming how much time it can take and all these kind of things. So that's why people sometimes feel it's an overrated experience. I know when we have friends with us here, I tell them, look, if you want to go up the Eiffel Tower, that's fine. We're just going to hang out in the park behind the Eiffel Tower and just relax back there while they go up. And when they come back down, they're usually a little frazzled. They like the view, but it's a bit much. So I want to give you a heads up for that one. The third thing that's overrated about coming to Paris is shopping on the Champs-Élysées. I know it's the most famous street in the world, right? The Champs-Élysées. We've got to eat there. We've got to drink there. We've got to go to movies there. We've got to go shopping there. No, 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 and no, okay? There's so many better places to go shopping, eating, drinking, everything than on the Champs-Élysées because that is the priciest of the priciest kind of real estate and it can be really, really packed so those stores get a little overrun. So what we recommend you do is instead of shopping on the Champs-Élysées, go to some of the different on malls and go find some boutique shops, some small shops, some small artist kind of places and get your clothes, get your shopping done there so you have a really a nice little Paris experience without being overrun by everybody, okay? Now, the next overrated thing I have to tell you is if you're gonna be coming back to Paris from your trip to France and you gotta fly out, the overratedness is, dun dun dun, the TGV being on time. I know the super fast trains in France are fantastic. They get you anywhere in a two or three hours. You're pretty much anywhere in France, which is great. But a lot of tourists, what they do is they count on that on timeness to get back to Paris, to get their flight back to the US or back to Germany or back to Asia or someplace like that. And I want to tell you, every time there's always something, a half hour delay here, a missed, a signal mishap there, that can add on 30 minutes there, two hours here. I mean, you got to be careful with that. That's why when we travel, we fly out of Paris, we're always spending at least the night before we leave in Paris so we can kind of avoid any issues with that because yes, though the TGV experience is great and it's fast, it is overrated and how often it's actually on time. So have a heads up for that. Now, another thing I think is overrated is the idea that the Parisians are nasty people. Look, I don't know why, Pari well, I can have an idea why Parisians get a bad rap. It's more the, the waiters here sometimes have issues. But in general, the Parisians are fantastic. The people are nice. They're going to be helpful. You speak a little French with them. They totally open up. They want to help you. I mean, Liam, who's you'll see him running around when he was a baby, we couldn't get his stroller through the thing. And so the locals helped us lift the stroller over the top and they cursed out the, the metro worker because they wouldn't help us get out. And so the other locals did. And the people here are awesome in Paris. And that kind of reputation that they're nasty and not friendly is not true, okay? And that kind of goes along with another kind of overrated thing. And that is the overrated nature of bad service and like anti-Americanism you might have in Paris. Look, we've been coming to Paris for years. If you've noticed in our dozens and dozens of videos of visiting Paris, we always talk about how nice the people are. But the thing is, I don't really get the anti-Americanism. Other people don't get it as much either. So do have a heads up that it's not as bad as you think. Because what happens is people start to take it as, oh, they're doing this because we're in America or they're doing this because we're German. No, they're not. That's just the way things are, okay? So don't think it's targeting you over something else, okay? 
Now, another overrated thing I think about Paris is when people talk about Paris, a lot of things they say is Paris is really dirty. Well, I think that reputation that Paris is dirty is way overrated. I mean, I'll be honest, Paris isn't any more dirty or less clean than other major cities throughout Europe. I mean, I'll be honest, I mean, coming here, it's a lot cleaner than going to a lot of big cities in the US and South America and Asia and Africa and stuff like that. I mean, it's not clean like Tokyo or Kigali, but it is not that bad. I mean, yes, occasionally you gotta look for the dog doo-doo, but it's not as bad as it used to be. So don't be getting that attitude like, oh, it's so dirty. Well, look at other towns. You'll be like, you know what? It pretty much lines up with other places as well. And the thing is, these are just little things that I think are overrated about coming to Paris. Now, there are things that aren't overrated. I mean, the food here really is that fantastic. I mean, the food in France in general is amazing, but in Paris, you can eat so well when you're here. Another thing that's not overrated, the heart attack inducing traffic and frustration of traffic you have when you do drive around Paris, that is not overrated as well. If you're gonna be coming to Paris and visiting France, don't rent your car to drive around Paris. Fly to Charles de Gaulle, get your car, and then drive out of Paris and go visit the country. When you come back to Paris, drop off your car because you don't need it in Paris, okay? And what's great, another thing that's not overrated is how effective the public transportation is here in Paris. The metros, you're within 500 meters of a metro pretty much anywhere in the city. The buses go all over the place, taxis, Uber, anything you want. You want to ride the little scooters, they've got all that stuff. So not overrated how easy it is to get around this really huge city. And I know I talk bad about the shopping on the Champs-Élysées, but the shopping in Paris, especially for fashion and clothing, I mean, I know I'm not the fanciest clothing person in the world, but you can really dress well when you are here and buy stuff at an affordable price from an up-and-coming, you know, couture or something like that. I mean, Jocelyn, that's one of her favorite things when she comes here is to get a new outfit and you're like, wow, I found a new little shop and I could try those things out there. It is really, really fantastic. And the last thing that is not overrated about coming to Paris is how many tourists come here. I mean, this place is packed with tourists in June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Yeah, every single month it is packed, okay? There is no low season for tourism here in Paris. There's only high season and super high season. And the super high season is that June, July, August and at Christmas time, okay? Outside those times, it's only high season. So be ready for that, okay? So I hope this helps you know a few things that I feel are a little overrated about Paris, but also some things that are definitely not overrated about visiting Paris. If you wanna learn more, maybe some of the mistakes tourists make when they come to Paris, or the don'ts of visiting Paris, or things about visiting France, or Europe, or Asia, Africa, South America, the US, go check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, and we really appreciate your likes, subscriptions. And if you do hit that subscribe button, we put out new travel videos every Wednesday and Saturday to help you with other honest travel advice. And we'll say bye from here in Paris. And thank you to all of our patrons on Patreon, and all of our members that are here on YouTube. We really appreciate your support. And everybody, happy travels. Bye from Paris. Au revoir.